I used to work in corporate America. I quit that job. All of a sudden, they started smashing grown people into these little squares for 12 hours a day, calling them cubicles. I'm like, how I ask my boss, how you expect me to think outside of the box when you got me in a cube? If you want me to be creative, put me in a hexagon. <laughs> with a hot tub and some tequila. And watch the creativity flow. In a cubicle, you don't even have any kind of privacy. You don't have a door to slam. If you get an attitude, you gotta stand up and shake your fist real hard. So everybody know you pissed off. And don't try to make a personal phone call. Like, yeah, me and Cleophis last night. Oh, coworkers listening. They falling all out they dag on cubicle trying to listen to your personal call. And the saddest thing is watching people try to decorate their cubicle with pictures of the family and stuffed animals and pictures of the dog. It's like watching a prisoner decorate they cell. <laughs> and the biggest coup is the smoker's break. You get like 10 minutes of productivity a day out of a smoker. So I asked my boss, I was like, where's my non-smokers break? <laughs> and you wonder how the smokers getting all the promotions. Cause they out there smoking with the boss, telling on you. Like Alicia was 15 minutes late to work today. <laughs> Alicia took a two hour lunch. <laughs> And even worse than that is the commute. I spent more time in the car trying to get to work than I did at the daggone office. <laughs> so a friend of mine said, why don't you carpool? This way you can save on gas, ride in the carpool lane, get to work fast. I said, I think I'll do that. The day I carpooled was the day I got fired. <laughs> I got to work at 9 a.m., got fired at 10 a.m., and had to sit around for the rest of the day. <laughs> waiting for everybody else to get off work. Then the bosses kept walking by me like I was the Unabomber, like, why is she still here? Because my ride is on the third floor. And now I'm sitting in the back of a hybrid with my box full of crap from the office. And coworkers trying to take stuff out of it like they had an office supply store. I'm like, put my cat calendar back. I'll work again one day. <laughs> and put that cigarette out. There's more funny where that came from. Subscribe right here, right now, and you won't miss another laugh.